Hello and welcome. I'm Kay of the Clever Someday blog and today I'm going to be showing you how to warp your text into popular shapes like you would see on t-shirts or vintage signs using Inkscape. Before I discovered this technique, I used and recommended Microsoft Word for this, but now I'm going to show you how to create these effects in Inkscape so you have more control over the shape and you'll be able to save more easily to the formats you might need. In order for this to work, you're going to need to install an Inkscape extension called Bezier Envelope. In the comments for this video, I'll share the link for the extension download as well as installation instructions. I'm also making short installation videos available. There's nothing to be afraid of. The installation is simple and safe and it will be well worth it as I'm about to show you. The way the Bezier Envelope extension works is it takes one object, in this case our text, and fits it into the shape of the second object which is appropriately called the envelope. In order for the extension to work, there are some simple but specific conditions that have to be met. First off, the thing we want to reshape, in this case our text, has to be a single path. So after we type it and change it to the font we want, we select Combine from the Path menu, then Object Ungroup. We can verify that this was successful by checking the status bar where we want to be sure it says only path, not text or group. The rule for the envelope shape is that it has to be a path with exactly four nodes, starting at the upper left hand corner and going clockwise. The easiest way to produce that is to select the rectangle tool, then drag from upper left to lower right. Then go to the path menu and select object to path. The status bar will read path four nodes. Or we can draw it with the Bezier tool by simply clicking in the upper left, then the other three points going clockwise, and then clicking back at the origin. If we wanted to shape our text using either of these two outlines or any other shape with just four straight sides, we could do it with two existing Inkscape extensions that come already loaded. One just called Envelope and the other called Perspective. But the Bezier Envelope extension is much more powerful because it allows curved sides. Bezier, in case you're wondering, is a term for a particular way to describe path segments mathematically. But you don't need to know any of that to make curves in Inkscape. It's very simple. I'm going to take the rectangle that we converted to a path and double click to enter point edit mode. Then I'm going to place my mouse by the lower line and when I see the cursor change to a hand, I click my mouse button, keep it down and push up on the bottom line to make it curve upward. When I get it to where I want it to go, I let go of the mouse button. That's all there is to making a curve in Inkscape. Of course, there are a few other shapes we can make with this simple process and many more if you know how to manipulate curves using the node handles. I'll make a copy of the text so we can try this one too. Okay, so we have our components ready to go. The last rule is that I have to select my text first, then the envelope, not the other way around. So I click the text, then shift click the envelope shape, then under extensions, modify path, choose Bezier envelope, and the text magically conforms to the new shape. One more time, select the text, then the envelope, then extensions, modify path, Bezier envelope. After I've warped the text, I can delete the envelope or keep it so that I can squeeze some different text into exactly the same shape. Or I can use the envelope as a starting point so I don't have to draw a new one each time. The shape text can be saved as an SVG by copying it to a new document and saving it. Or it can be exported as a transparent ping by choosing File Export Bitmap or File Export Ping Image depending on what version of Inkscape you have. You want to click Selection and set your pixels at 300 dpi. Specify where to export the file using the Export As button and click Export. For those of you who are not comfortable creating your own shapes yet, or if you just want to save time, I've created a template with some of the most popular text warping shapes included. You can download that for free on my blog where you will also find all the resources you need to start using this technique in your designs.
If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to follow this channel and my blog if you aren't already. It will also help me out if you share this in any groups or forums you're in because I'm not always allowed to do that myself. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy using this great Inkscape technique.